Hi guys, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Aquarius. All right, you guys. Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, you're starting with the Death card and the Nine of Cups. Ooh, okay. Ooh, and the Devil and the Fool, Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Okay, interesting energy. Okay, under the deck, I'm seeing Judgment, Two of Swords. Let's see what's behind that really quick. Ten of Coins. All right. It could, uh, it almost feels like something that you want to end or ending or it's a good thing. You have something good, nine of cups, wish fulfill. I feel like this is a very, maybe sexual, a really fun person, someone you're dating right now, someone you are getting along with very well. And I don't know why you're ending up with this and the energy and the outcome. So what is the death? Something that you let go or something you're thinking about letting go. Okay, there's your energy. So maybe a Scorpio that you're letting go or this is the right thing to do. To let something die, to move away from a relationship. Nine of Cups. Three of Cups. Again, I'm getting, you know, a party, uh, going out with someone you really like, someone new. What is the, the devil energy? Could be a Capricorn. Okay, well, we have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is probably someone where there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you, a lot of passion, good sex with the devil with this person. So, hmm, okay, I had a similar reading for, I think it was Leo, but let me see what's happening here. So you have a new beginning here with the Fool, which may not go well, and the Eight of Cups, what's coming in with the Three of Wands, a new offer, something new coming in, but why is it the Ten of Wands? What's going on here for Aquarius? This is an interesting reading. So you have the Queen of Wands, one more please. Oh, okay. I, this is probably the X. This is probably two of cups is under the deck. Okay. You have some good things here and bad things here, Aquarius. It does appear that you're moving forward with a relationship. You maybe let something go. Maybe it was just your own emotions with the death. You decided to start something new. You're going to meet someone who's a lot of fun. It does appear. It doesn't matter the sign. It just looks like there's really good chemistry. Now, it, they may be getting a divorce, okay? Or this is this may not be your tower. Because this is an offer, what I'm seeing is a marriage or a commitment with the, when I see the coin, okay? So you're walking away from something. Now, you may decide not to stay with this person. In fact, you might actually turn them down. And that may prompt them to give you this ace of coin. It's actually kind of what I'm seeing. Because they may want to start something new with you. And you're saying, you know what, this looks like a tower. I just, I don't want that. Because what I'm thinking here, this might be like the X. Listen to your intuition. There may be a, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius involved who is going to be a pain in the ass with the Ten of Wands. Okay? That's what that tells me. Or you're like, wait a minute, this is only based on sex. I don't really feel like I love this person. So, because Nine of Cups, Three of Cups is the dating, drinking, having a lot of fun card. Celebration, right? Nothing wrong with that. But that might be all this is based on. And you know what? I kid you not. I think Leo had the same exact, almost the same exact reading, except theirs was a little bit more like just don't do it, where yours is more like take caution. Let's see what this, okay, let me pull some romance cards. Let me put these back in the deck. <clears throat> okay, let me get this together. I can do this. All right. For Aquarius, please, please give me two cards about this relationship that they're, okay, very soon, and then one more, please. Okay, make the effort. All right. Very soon, you may need to make the effort or, okay, so something else came to me while we're shuffling. You might take this offer, okay? You might like this person, but intuitively, you may know that there's a burden with an ex or someone else involved, a crazy ex. If they have children together, that's usually always a problem. So I'm not saying that you won't take this off or it's bad, actually, especially with these cards here. Especially because I can see that you really like this person. There's a lot of chemistry. I have a feeling you decide not to, like you walk away from this person or, gosh, wow. Now, this is cards of divorce to me, complete endings. So especially when they're this way. So this could be someone who is divorcing an ex, divorced an ex, 
but you're thinking, wow, there's too much drama. I, I just, I, this person was more fun and I didn't want all this commitment. Maybe they have children or something. You, weren't, you don't want to deal with someone else's kids. So you may walk away. This may prompt them to give you an, a, an offer. That's more of commitment, which is nice. I mean, meaning Ace of Cups would be nice too, but I like the Ace of Coin. That's commitment long term. But you're thinking something bothers you about this though. Whether they don't have an ex, but there's something about this relationship that makes you feel like you're not sure you can handle it or you want to deal with it. So I have a feeling this is going to happen very soon. This offer is coming in very soon. And they are saying make the effort. <clears throat> so I don't know if that's like go for it. It won't be that bad. It's kind of what I'm, I'm seeing here. Let me put another card though on the King of Wands and kind of see where his head is at. But I really do feel like this person's really into you, Aquarius. I really do. I don't think this is a bad reading. I think this person may have some baggage. Who's the King of Wands? Who's the King of Wands? What do we need to know about this King of Wands? Yeah, he likes you. He or she, I'm sorry. I know I always do that. She may like you. So whoever this is, because I'm thinking for some of you, you may meet someone and they have kids. And so then you got to, you know, the whole family. Something along that line. Because there's this new beginning, which seems a lot of fun. And it does appear to be. But there's something else that's causing you to think, oh, I don't know if I can keep this up. I don't know if I want to do this. I mean, this could be you here. You could be coming up as the Queen of Wands, right? Maybe there's a lot. This person's very different than you. And they want, they do different things. Like they're more sports oriented. Like to go, you know, uh, like I, hockey came to mind. I don't know why. Who plays hockey? Um, mountain climbing or, you know, stuff like that. And you're like, wow, I really don't like the things that they like. Um, maybe they have a really high sex drive, drive too here. It's kind of what I'm seeing here, but I don't think this is a bad thing, Aquarius. I think you just need to, I don't know, take some time and, and think it through. Let me do one more card for the high priestess, 10 of wands, because something's bothering you. One more card, please, for Aquarius. No. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So. Yeah, two things. One, some of you may like more of a freedom and you would like to maybe have more time on your own. You don't, maybe you don't want commitment already from this person. You weren't ready for that. Because Ten of Coins can mean commitment, family, everything's together now. Ten of Coins, though, can also mean long term. This person may want to be with you long term. That's a good sign. But again, it could also mean that they have an ex who they were with a long time also. So are you going to, you know, get involved with that? So whatever resonates with you, because I could read that a few different ways. Let me see what's behind the nine of coins. Yeah, some of you may not want to get tied down or they don't want to get tied down. This could be totally opposite energy. Yeah, you guys are kind of worried about this person. You may not know this person very well. They could be an Aries. Yeah, there's someone who's hot for you guys, Aquarius. You got an ace of wands, could be an Aries, but maybe they, you feel like they're a little bit on the controlling side. They want to move the relationship forward. But there's things about this person's relationship you don't know at the moon. Doesn't so it could be that yeah your intuition is telling you uh oh this is a bad deal, you know they're into something I'm not into I don't really like that but so you're worrying what's coming in is they're going to ask you very soon what you what you want so then you some of you want to be single or at least you want to meet someone different all right so this is great love is worth taking the steps guided to take it doesn't necessarily mean it's with this person. So I'm going to leave it at that, Aquarius. Have a great week and take care.